Hello everyone, good evening. In this lecture we uh, will show you where the antibiotics working. Uh, we'll start uh, to draw this bacteria. This is the cell wall and the cell membrane and uh, also uh, some enzymes of the cell such as uh, beta lactam, beta lactamase and other uh, enzymes. So the first group work on the cell wall synthesis of the bacteria. The first group of this is the beta-lactams antibiotic, and this include uh, all types of penicillins and all types of cephalosporins, and also carbapenems and monobactams. And the second group, this uh, work on bastracin, and this include uh, vancomycin where the third group work on the cell membrane of the bacteria and this include polymyxins. The second group of uh, antibiotic that work on the nucleic acid and uh, this may include some, antibi some antibiotics that work on the foliar synthesis and uh, some that work on DNA enzyme gyrase and some other that work on the RNA enzyme polymerase. For those antibiotics who are working on foliar synthesis, uh, we have two antibiotics that are used mainly for urinary tract infections and other infections. They are sulfonamides and uh, trimethoprim. So these two antibiotics work by foliar synthesis. Okay, and the second group work on DNA gyrase, such as the fluoroquinolone groups, that include ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, and gatifloxacin, and other fluoroquinolones. The third type that are work on RNA polymerase, and this include the anti-TB antibiotic which is rifampicin. The third group of antibiotics that's working on protein synthesis. Half of these antibiotics work on 50S subunits and other are working on 30S subunits. For those that are working on 50S subunits protein synthesis, we have macrolids such as azithromycin, clarithromycin, and clindamycin also, and glyanzolid and chloramphenicol. The second group are working on 30S subunits. And this include tetracyclines and amino glycoside such as gentamicin, amikacin, and tobramycin, and others. Thank you very much.